Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Mr. Smile G's productions of Red Flood. So, we're led by Daddy Goebbels, and who doesn't love Daddy Goebbels? And last time we helped the Spanish with their civil war, we started really, really industrializing quite a bit. Uh, ooh, Arbeiterreta, as well as New Industrial Revolution. It is currently October 18th, 1938, and we are building civilian factories out the wazoo. Maybe a few too many, perhaps, because we're running out of space to actually build stuff. So let's run one more military factory. A couple things, uh, a couple comments. First of all, like I said yesterday, as we look further east... Okay, Poland. Okay. Um, it looks worse and worse and worse. Some people have comments regarding this, and it's all good. This place, the Zeltorosilia, is a madhouse. Oh, that's a nice smile. Alyssa. Yeah, Alyssa. Rosenbaum. Very nice smile. She's an objectivist ideologue. But, uh, yeah, China's crazy, and India apparently is a smorgasbord of all sorts of different cultures, which is true, but ideologies as well. We have the Democratic State, the People's Democratic State, under stern man, Keshavrao. And then we got these people over here, under this dude with a nice hat, and Hyderabad. Very cool Mysore, and then Madras Presidency. You look kind of more Asian, but then again, India technically is Asian, so it makes perfect sense why. Cecil, cool. Uh, Poland, why'd you go to war with, Bul why'd you go to war with Bulgaria? Of all nations to go to war with, why Bulgaria? I mean, yeah, you're a revisionist socialist, which, you know, we don't care much for, but it's kind of chunky. He's got a little butt chin there. Why did... What? It's kind of handsome. Stanislaw? Prometheus? For freedom? Hmm? Ah, Daily Accelerationists, I see. You can't even touch them. Why did... Bul why? What did Bulgaria do to you? I love the Straits Coal Mission. That looks really good. Uh, anything else here? Vlad? Does... Yeah, Bulgaria does have a claim on Thrace. Very nice, very nice. Turkey has a claim on that. They have a claim on Dobruja. Cool. But we're just sitting here making factories. That's all we want to do. Dr. G... He wants to help support the industry of the German Socialist Republic, or maybe you might call it the G DDR, maybe? I don't know, this is Dance Dance Revolution time. I'll go and do that, because we've been at political power. Weekly War Sport. Sure, why not? Why not? So, a couple other comments, such as recommended to build more military factories, which we're doing. Uh, reducing our divisions that we're making currently so we can support or train more divisions. That kind of works. Um, I'm just going to keep it the way it is, just because I'm going to support my country with even more military factories, more, 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 which would be nice. We definitely need more artillery and definitely more guns. We'll see what happens. Unser Vox Ferrer. Very cool. More political power. Less justified war goes sounds and less ideology drift defense. Install loyal officers. Ooh, memory of the trenches. Uh, we could get rid of this. It's not really hurting us that badly yet. So we can wait. We can do red imperialism. We can do war claims, but let's go ahead. We got that. Let's go ahead and come down this way. This one gives more max factories in the state because we need that. Create the ZPK. So we should create a central organ to oversee the economic progress in our glorious republic. It should consist of the most capable and intelligent economists of Germany. This Zentrals Planungskomitee will reevaluate our economic situation and make plans accordingly. Very, very bueno. And we have Excavation Uno done now as well. Which seems like we're going to need more than that, but let's go ahead and get some more dispersed industry because we need a more, more, more output. Even though motorized is honestly looking pretty darn good. Two at a time, keep building this off. We're going to feel very good about this. Obosherlisen, Niederbayern. Like I said in the last episode, I wish we could do more stuff with our uh, political power. That'd be nice. If we don't have four, if we need four or more, I might go ahead and get another thing of resource. Whatever the resource is, just because we could probably really use it. Yeah, we probably could. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Full lines of constructing things. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we almost had another one. We might have traded away for some more resources to get that, but that's okay. That's okay. We can wait. We can definitely wait. Keep training if we need it. And on this side, we do the same thing. Train if we need it. Tailman, how are you doing? Are there any other wars that we should really be concerned about right now so we can get in? Oh, well... Technically, the Polish-Bulgarian War, but they can't really touch each other. I guess maybe they might be able to navally invade each other. If Lithuania, really, the Ukraine wanted to. That's a big Lithuania. Oh, yeah, and we have Belarus here, too. I forgot these guys were involved. Social Democrats, huh? Conservatives, Social Democrats, Accelerationists, and more Accelerationists. What a coalition. 
the ZPK as advisor. So, while the ZPK is a good initiative, to retain our level of democracy and self-determination, we should only give it to the role to advise the Wirtschaftskommission while, make it, while it makes the decisions, which would be good. Because we definitely need more, more max factories in the state. Die bombing campaign. Cool, come over here. Thank you. And got put the ship raiders. Very good. Oh, actually, we have plenty of fuel. It's kind of surprising. Let's go ahead and lower this by once. We get another factory to use. Good. That's looking good. Ship-wise, we're doing okay. I wish we were making ships. More ships, more quickly. But, you know, it is what it is. Selbs led Nice. 39. Artillery's next. And then tanks, probably. I'm not going to upgrade this yet, just because we need to make more, 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 more. Oh, boy. Artillery. Oh. At the very least, I just want to be able to defend Germany. I don't really want to go on the offensive yet. At least, at the very least. Until we get rid of a new Industrial Revolution. Because once we have this done... Happy 1939, by the way, guys. Um, once we get this done... We should have the industry that will last us for the entire game. Easily for the entire game. That'd be nice to make, but we're not going to do that yet. Yeah. 60... Roughly 70 guns a day. That's pretty darn nice. Not going to lie. That's pretty darn nice. We even have a couple of fighters, too. Since we're here... Mobile infantry. Good. More close air support is always lovely to have. Cool. One, two. Come right there. One, two. Come right there. One, two. And then, oh no. Nice. And keep going down this way. That'll be good. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Wow, look at that. Roughly four political power a day. Jesus Christ, that's so much. Oh, praise Jesus. Oh, my goodness. That's insane. The Almond. Almond. Uh, ooh, rocket artillery. You will bet us, huh? Um, defense, attack. More guns, more political power, which we don't need. Free repair. I love the free repair. Uh, resources. Yeah, I'll probably go down this way. Let's get more attack. So... We could do stuff around here, but let's do the found the SRKMB. The Sonderrat für Kriegsmoral und Besatzung. It's a body that decides on what is acceptable during the times of war and how to treat occupied territory. Very good. So we can make more guns more quickly too, which would be nice. Which would be a very incredibly nice thing. But right now, we're doing okay with this stuff. We're doing okay with this stuff. You guys are garrisons. Do we have military police? We do have military police, but we do not have enough military or army XP. Hmm, too bad we can't get daily army XP. That'd be actually very helpful. Well, Bulgaria is still standing strong. And in Africa, they're killing each other in the Congolese Republic versus the Prussian Congo, which is... Okay, Kivu, huh? This, this is not Mwami. Kivu? Yeah, no, you don't have a unique focus fee. That's okay. Won't hold it against you. Purge ranks is gone, which is nice. Still building, still building. It's going to turn into something like Southern Victory, where we're not going to go to war, hopefully, until like 40... 41, just because I need time to build up my industry. Whoa. Whoa. Well, we're doing a lot better on artillery. We have reduced a deficit by 600, which is good. We definitely need more support equipment first, though. And guns are coming along almost roughly 90 a day. Look at that production efficiency. It's getting higher and higher, and I love it. Let's go ahead and grab. This one has to dehumanize the enemy. The people we fight are barely human. They are beasts who want to kill and enslave us. Such people deserve no mercy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Nice. Construction 3. Good. Uh, go and grab resource efficiency 3. We could... Oh, and advanced machine tools. Nice. Grab tanks as well. Donnerschlag. Donnerschlag. Is that... Donor battle? Fight? Something like that? Ah, I like the little poker there. I love it. Love it. Love it. 39 really doesn't do much for us here. We could probably get this one as well. Maybe. We might as well. Maybe focus on a few planes, maybe, perhaps? A few? Anything here? No, 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 nothing there. Uh, over a... Th At some point, getting enough, po too much political power is kind of like, wow, what do I do with this? Whew. I hope I don't get attacked anytime soon, though. That'd be very bad. Let's go and throw on another military factory. Because this one's almost done. So let's throw on two, actually. One. Two. That 30%, though. God dang, I should have done that earlier. I really should have done this earlier. Disperse industry. Very good. Rubber. 
Let's go and throw this one on there too. And then we'll probably do some support equipment as well. That'd be pretty good to do. Ooh, what is that? Ah, garrison's good. We have a general. Nope, that's okay. Carl. Hello, Carl. Dehumanize the enemy. Good. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Put them to work. So, those we captured should have hard work to make up for the crimes they did against Germany and its people. Quick and to the point. Vessa M's. Good. Right there. And give us slightly more guns every day. Support equipment is still looking very, very bad, though. After this. The factory repair speed, we can wait. We can, eh, resource efficiency game, we can wait as well for that. After that, then we shall do. Hmm. Red Thunder. Motorized. Recruitable population factor. Ooh. Infantry. I like that. Ukraine declared war Moldavia. Armor cost. I think I might go with armor, because we really want to emphasize armor in this campaign. Now, that is interesting. You guys are incredibly violent. Moldavia is just trying to hang out. Slavic separatism. They're holding out for now, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Can I send you guys... I might be able to send you guys volunteers, actually. Two divisions. We do need to emphasize these divisions as well. You'll be led by Monstein. That's fine for now. Yes. I might lose these divisions, potentially, but, you know, whatever. They're here for a reason. They're here to be used. Do they have any... I don't have an airbase. That is unfortunate. That is incredibly un Oh, they got in circle too. Ooh, they might capitulate before they're too long. That's not good. Hmm. Artillery's not looking good either. Put guns up first. The Yasi? Hmm. Hmm. Which one do we want more? Uh, 13 a day. That'll come by really quickly. Let's do that one too. Alright, do that one first. There you go. Nothing to work. Good. Yep, and they're gone already. Wow. Uh, Red Luftwaffe. Land for construction speed. Hmm. Volksmarine. Red Marines. That looks really good. Building slots. Coastal forts. We will deploy the Kustenschutz fleet in Wilhelmshaven. Oh, what is that? North Atlantic People's Council gets Germany approaches us. Naval aviation. Air Dreadnoughts. I mean, these are all nice for bonuses to research, but they don't really help us out that much? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but... Huh. Colocalization. Nuclear attack would be good. Electronics. We must do that one. So, Rachen Machine. Electronics have a vast potential. People like Comrade Zeus swear that things like his new computing device could change the world forever. Who would we be if we were not to support revolutionary change? Yes. Oh, oh, hold on. Fiume. Declare one Italy. Now we don't care for much for despotic leaders. Like Italo there. We also don't care for much for the Oh. The enemy of my enemy is still my enemy, but could be a friend. You don't want volunteers though. You might accept volunteers. Oh, five divisions? Um Ooh, I really don't want to send tanks here though. Hmm. But, oh well. Let's see if they'll take him. Nope. I mean, it really doesn't matter who I help out. Oh. Well, I really don't care for the French that much, to be honest with you. But I will do whatever I need to do to get some more army XP. Weekly War Sport, we don't have to do that one, so. That'd be fine. I should have sent him Mountaineers. Yeah, sending tanks is a bad idea. Hmm, tactical bombers. We could do that. We could do, yeah, let's do this one. We got six uh, research slots, so that's okay. Good. Keep keep building, guys. Keep building. What are we missing? We're doing a lot better on guns, a lot better on artillery. Support equipment is probably the most lacking thing that we have right now. Oh, well, we're not even building any more military factories, so that sucks. Cool. Do that. Three. Make it four. Make it four. Not, not interesting going... Oh my gosh. You are just flooding into Italy. This does not bode well for uh, Third International, but okay. Okay, sure, why not? Sure. <clears throat> I really don't want to get into here and cause casualties and stuff like that for our side, but it is what it is. 
Give me some planes. Maybe that could give some XP, perhaps. Yes, yes. Very good. Hmm. Well, as long as it gives us more XP. I'm game. I'm all game. Alright then. Italy really wasn't prepared for this, were they? I guess just go right on ahead if you can. Uh, we're gonna see the fall of Italy. Generic. Oh, Manstein was wounded. That's fine, whatever. Wow, Italy or is just been taken apart by the French. Wow. You can probably help out if you want to. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure if I should really be helping out France, but whatever. We should do okay against France, right? We should do okay. Nice. Uh, factory repair speed. I think we'll go with Duschbrush. So, if the next war is like the previous one, we will surely lose. We can't just compete with the manpower or Siberian resources of Russia or the colonial riches of Britain or France, but we don't need that. They will have no time to react when we encircle their forces or break through their lines and cut off all their supply. Yes. Tanks for victory. That's looking amazing. That's looking really good. Support equipment, like I said earlier, is probably the biggest limiter right now. Yeah. Four lines, though. That's pretty good. We have five... Eight lines, not eight full lines, but eight lines just producing stuff. That is so awesome. Just go ahead and do whatever you need to do. If you suffer a couple of losses here and there, that's okay. I still need more army XP, so. A few losses here and there, that's okay. My gosh. What happened to Italy? Why are they so weak? Is this normal? I have no idea this is normal. This can't be normal. This can't be. I'm strengthening my enemy. Regardless, I would have been strengthening my enemy even if I didn't help out France. If I helped out Italy, they're gone. Okay, I like wars and all, but... <clears throat> why? I know, this is on historical. I don't want to forget that. That This is on historical. Also, someone recommended that tactical bombers are still very good to use. I know, I know they're still very good to use. I just didn't feel like using them in this campaign. We were already set up with close air support. Um, I usually use just close air support and old world blues just because it is the best. But for all the other mods... Why does everyone hate Bulgaria? What's wrong with the Bulgarians? Some two to mm. Mm. Fine. Can I convert you guys all to ro red guards? That actually wouldn't be very good for us. Oh my goodness, yeah, no, 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 we're not doing that. No way, man. No way, Jose. Good. Cool. You guys. Um, lower you by... 20. There we go. Hmm. I have quite a few guys right there. Ooh, better panzers. I like that. That's 39. We need to get some engineers, maybe. Better engineers, yes. Everyone should have engineers on them. Red guard, red guard. These guys do have engineers. Which would be very nice. Come on, give me more air XP. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Alright, can I send you even more volunteers now? Maybe some tanks? Nope. That's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. For now. For now. Guns looking great. Looking real great. Dush, brush, good. Even more. More, do not rest. Alright, proletarian st Oh, yeah, I like this one. So, panzers are the most important part of a mobile force. They are fast and can move across almost every terrain, yet they are mighty and strike fear into our enemies. Is a weapon worthy to serve the revolution? Which we should probably go ahead and start doing this. I'm not going to get rid of my light tanks just because, uh, we still need them. But first, let's do this one first. That'd be good. Light tanks. I'm going to go ahead and limit you down to one. Uh oh, yeah, let's grab some of this. Thank you. Just because we needed to do that. We'll get more factories, and I'm going to use reconnaissance light tanks for this anyway, so we have enough for now. Good. Be led by a uh, new dude. Why not? Hen Heinrich. That's probably the area that we need the most help in. Plane-wise, you guys are doing okay-ish. Yeah, get rid of these guys. Come on, come home. And then over here... Do we need more fighters? Yes, we do. Good. Get even more fighters in the air. Good. Do 
that. And if we have any other fighters, go throw another hundred. Throw another hundred. Stay on that army, that'll be good. Nice. Yeah, without enough air superiority, you're not going to be able to do anything. But that's going to give us a lot of air XP so we can increase our air doctrine immediately. Oh, nice. Just defend. That's all I want. Oh my gosh, we're already running out of things here to build. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. When should I go to war with the Poles? I don't know when. Because I'm going to make sure we have a huge army. We are running out of manpower. Can I raise this and level up? No, we have to be at war. Yeah, let's go and start justifying on like Poland and stuff. I think that'd be good. I think it'd be very good. Uh, I might recommend you hold out here, perhaps, because they are getting the snot beaten out of them. I wish we could send them more divisions, but it doesn't look like it. Come on, get over there. We're probably going to lose this battle when they're down here, but that's okay. 439. Get some more fuel just in case. Nice, this will give us a lot more, hopefully a lot more army XP. Alright, so light tanks. Floating fortresses are very nice. Let's go and throw on one medium tank immediately, because we need them. We really, really need them. Throw that on there too. That'd be good. Since we have enough naval XP, do we have any other ships? Yes, we do! A light cruiser. Delightful. Even though the ships we have, currently have are probably not that great. Uh, oh, infantry. That's just too good to pass up right now. So the Red Army marches again. It is unstoppable and is still kept boots march over the enemies of the revolution. Very good. Revolutionary parade. Yeah, we can wait. That's not necessary since we need to get rid of the trenches thing still. That's okay. Um, since we're here, I'm actually going to build this up so we can see as much as we possibly can. Build one up down here, but then we're also going to build one up here in Desert M's as well because our fl fleet will need that. Uh, this, is, this is how we're going to get a lot more army XP. You know what? Since we have you, you must get another field marshal as well. You, dude. Hans Wagner. I usually choose offensive over everything else, but that's okay. Go five. And then do that one. And then do another ten. Then throw on five, five. There you go. Throw on two. That's good. That'll be very nice. Rubber wise. Let's start once. Oh, we can make one more of these. Oh, yeah. Actually, I haven't even made one of these yet. Do that one. Gives us rubber, gives us fuel. So we need less to import. Which would be nice. Where's the other. Go and help. Oh, wow, we actually stretch out to the entire line now. Not bad. Let's go ahead and switch this over. So we can produce some good stuff. We'll be fine with that. We'll be totally fine. Oh, my goodness, we need more dockyards. Completely ignore the Navy, which is fine, whatever. It happens. Enrici, learning to become an organizer, infantry leader, as well as a hills fighter. All good stuff. All very good, very good stuff. Ooh, don't lose, son. Don't lose. That's not bueno. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice. Let's go and come down here. And Weatherlands, Weatherlands, Netherlands, and Valonia, or do Poland. So, reclaim West Preussen. Western Prussia is currently under the control of the Poles, despite being majority German. This cannot stand as it is. And we lost that tile. Go figure. The Yugoslavs are very strong. How many minutes have we lost in this front so far? Actually, let's do this one first. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuel refining two. Better rubber. We've lost a total of ah, 3,600 men. That's actually not too bad. Sophia, though, cannot fall. Oh, yeah, he's learning. Oh, boy, someone got encircled. That is so not bueno. Can we actually bust him out? No, we can't. That sucks. No, Sophia, no. This is probably the end of Bulgaria. No. No, well, maybe not yet. But we're here to learn. And learning we are. Look at that. Six army XP. Thank you. Need more manpower. So we need to go to war soon. Um, we'll probably do that by one. We'll do that by one as well. Save up manpower just a little bit for now. And industry-wise, we're just missing tanks. That's all we need right now. Thanks. Engineer companies, grab some of these as well. Actually, this is probably the thing I'll put on it. The guys next. Yeah, they definitely need field hospitals for where we're going. Oh, my goodness. Field hospitals are very important. I might recommend both of you come up here. Because you guys are going to get attacked. I'd rather not have you guys encircled. And there goes the manpower. fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah, they're just breaking through now. That is unfortunate. Proclaim Vespreisen. Cool. Take pressure. That's another good one. So now there's only one last thing left to do. Finally crushing those renegades that we have entrenched themselves in Prussia. Alright. So with these guys, we're probably going to go to war very, 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 very soon. Yes. 
Finally, I will go to war, causing us to get rid of our bonus to producing a couple good things here and there. You guys come right there, that'd be good. And shipwise. Ooh, another light cruiser. Delightful. You guys, even though you're not really that great, go ahead, repair. Everyone repair. Get ready. And you guys are doing okay. Just in case France also goes to war with us, we're going to stop training here. We might actually want to build up the road here. But these guys are what we're going to try to really crush. You guys are already up there. Oh, you're, oh, you're already up here. Nah, that's really smart. Bust through here to bust through up there to take these guys out. So we can convoy right now. Actually, how big is their navy? I can't imagine be that huge, right? I have no idea. We can't tell. Building-wise, though... We got two. Get another one. That'll be good. Yeah. In the end, build up everywhere pretty much. Especially the resource rich areas. There we go. Eventually, we will have time to build everything up really fully, magnificently. Wait, Luxembourg is our puppet. I thought they were just an ally. Cool! Lower that by one. There you go. Ukraine declared war. Okay. Okay. Well, we have mass motorization. We got this. I suppose it might be time for us to go, maybe? Maybe not? And hopefully our guys can do pretty well if we don't have any manpower. Um, this is maybe a bad idea. Maybe it's a great idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. I have no idea. Good, though. That's really good. It's almost 1940. Can we grab this, maybe? Let's grab this. I like that stuff. Cool. Open party membership? Sure. Well, let's see. They're, oh, what is that? Has volunteers sent to France fighting Bulgaria? Because everyone hates Bulgaria and these, and these guys. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. I need you guys to immediately go this way and then have you guys immediately come there. Could you guys do that? Hopefully. And let's raise the Call it for these guys. That's nice. Service bar requirement. Let's just jump to extensive conscription. We probably don't need the other one just yet. Oh, oh boy. Bulgaria. Um, sure. This. Oh, we will end up going to war with Yugoslavia then, which isn't necessarily a bad idea. But I don't really have the forces to deal with them for now. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Let them move. Alright. Is anyone not in the war against these guys? Good. How's this battle going? Oh, they're attacking us. New, yep, we no longer have new industrial revolution, but I'm kind of okay with that for now. I'm kind of okay with that, just because, well, I think we're doing pretty well. We can always build up more stuff later on, but that's okay. Brazil, Ukrainian, Pan-Futurist Collective, okay. Oh, wow, Ukraine. Wow. Cuba, very cool. We definitely need more manpower, which I'm glad we raised our conscription level. Oh boy, what's going on? Are we fighting France yet? No, good. I don't want to fight France. France is a little scary. Get off, thank you. Come on, we just need to cut them off. That's all we have to do. Come on, tanks. You guys got this? Yes, yes. Go, go, go. Floor it. Ooh, what is this? Weekly stability, that's nice. But we don't really need that, though. Come on, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Can they pierce our light tanks? No, they cannot. Which we do need to replace eventually. Ooh, uh, light tanks. We still need more medium tanks, which makes sense. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Tungsten. Oh, those guys come back. That's okay. Grab an oh, just grab another. Go with two. That'll be fine for now. Really help out production here. Cool. Direct around support. Count them out. And that's one more time. wing. Let's go with that one. Nice. Tons of air experience. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, man, they're fighting... Oh, this is a big one. Oh, they're fighting Russia. They're fighting big Russia. Oh, that's a mistake that they made. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, retake core against Czechoslovak Kingdom. That's interesting. Looking for more manpower. A little bit over there. Not so much over there. Oh, more attack. That could be very useful. Remember the churches? Let's do that. Install loyal officers. After the unfortunate demise of many of the Volksvar offices... We should install a new generation of capable and loyal offices. Well, it looks like we hit our peak. 
Oh, no, 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 never mind. We still have 1,500 here. Now, I should have done this a little earlier. I don't trust what's going to happen here, but we'll see what happens. Alright, my fleet, head out, have a good time. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're just the Red Guard. Go ahead and throw yourselves on the line in the vest, just because I don't know what's going to happen. Any supplies being transferred this way? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, I got a French division there, I see, eh? That one too. Cool. Help them out, help them out. Crush those divisions. If they get any supplies in there, well, they just make them go kaboom. Losses. The Polish are extremely aggressive. Jesus. Uh, how many are they losing? How many? We've killed almost all of them. Russia's only killed 5,000 of them. Oh, who's that? Oh, Kiev is on the front lines. That's nice. Okay, those guys actually died very quickly, which I really, really like. Uh, probably right here, and then we'll probably push down this way. Get Poznan. Oh, did they actually break through? Oh, no, 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 sorry. Probably use more fuel. Mm hmm. They're hitting us so hard, they're making the game lag. I like this. Oh! Oh, we actually got Yugoslavia! Nice! I'm really not sure what to do with these Yugoslavians. I obviously don't deserve any part of this. I completely forgot that Yugoslavia existed, too. Um, Bulgaria will get a, a huge chunk of this stuff. West Kosovo? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a nice. I might just make them a, mm, a puppet of Hungary. It's not like Montenegro is with us, either. Oh, God, Italy looks... Oh, my goodness. Um... Hmm. I can just make a my puppet. Yeah, that might be best. I don't know if Hungary can actually hold them on as a puppet themselves. You know, even though, you know what? Hungary. Where's Hungary? You can have South Banat. I'll just puppet them. Bosnia, that's true. Uh, Dalmatia? That should be good. If not, I mean, we can switch this around. Is that a core? That is a core state. That's what I thought. They didn't even have oh, what type of flag do you have? That's awesome. Oh, Mr. Sunglasses. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. We added to this group. That's very good. And we actually reached all the way to the Black Sea now. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, they're slowly pushing us through here. That is not ideal. Um, We could try some pretty hardish attacks. We'll probably have to. Cool. Everyone go right on ahead. Get your planes in the air, everyone. If possible, I would like to take out Poland before we're done here in this episode. Right there, that's fine. Which means you guys should have uh, enough strength. Uh, that's of course it good. Uh, to push through here. Now that we have other divisions available. I can't imagine that Poland can keep this up for much longer. But I could be wrong. I could be very, very wrong about that. But they have a ton of divisions, oh wow. I'm going to give you force attack. Good. Hungry. Uh, sure. Fill out the line here. There you go. Head on up north. This is looking nice. I'm glad we got Yugoslavia under us. That'd be good. Tons of losses. 20,000 versus almost roughly half a million for Poland. Not bad, not bad. Everyone's getting... A, oh my gosh, that's so much good. Army XP, so good. Alright, improve river processing. Rota Guard. This is going to hurt us for support equipment. Yes, by a huge amount. By a massive amount. Hmm. We can do that. We can afford that one. That's nice. Can we change this to motorized? Yes. Can we actually throw on one more motorized to make us even stronger? Yes, hopefully. That'd be good. Uh, you guys looking pretty good as well. Can't really do much with you guys. Anything else here? Mountaineers, throw on the artillery. Yeah. We got plenty of artillery and guns for now, which is actually awesome. We need way more motorized though. Cool. Happy 1940, my friends. 1940, let's get some nuclear tech. And, yeah. Boost you up by... Actually, that's really good. We don't really need to boost that up by 15. That'll be good. And get one more of this. 
Ooh, what is that? Yes, support equipment. Good. Push those poles back. Magret. Um, blitz and encirclement. Armor. We're not really using armor. Mechanized. I eh, just do. That's fine. Whatever. Good. Oh, oh, we surrounded Poznan. Oh, it's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful, my friends. Let's go ahead and grab this. Glorify war. So, the KPD has continuously pushed for revolution instead of war. That we should only aid self-emancipation. They did not see that, that their race is unable to ascend to a socialism alone. The filthy Franks, for example, and need to be liberated by German steel. Yes. Up them out a little bit more. And they died. And we love it. Oh, we definitely need more fuel, though. We lost 38,000 versus half a million. Nice, nice, nice. Grab some more fuel, too. Good. Cup offset the cost of fuel. Very good. The war is still going to be quite the struggle for now. I'll probably annex most of Poland. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I'll give Russia, like, Belarus and maybe the Ukraine. We'll see what happens. I can't imagine these guys keep it for that much longer. Yeah. Mm. They have a lot of manpower in the field, though. That is, that is quite a bit. They have no more guns, which is nice. So if we keep attacking, they can't defend with anything. Which would be very good. Planes wise, we're still doing okay. So have stockpile, motorized, yeah, you're next motorized. More military factories. Let's throw on uh, one there. Do da, do da, do da, Even though this is quite the struggle, it's a good struggle. Siegfried, uh, that's fine. Just do that for now. Whatever. People are definitely learning a lot. Yes, please. Maintenance field hospital, that'd be good. Better recon, since we're probably already using that already in the field. Good, sink their ships, get some naval XP. Extreme attacks on the front. Go right on ahead, guys. I don't think they can keep it up for much longer. Good, there go some more convoys. Any new ships? Yes, please. One more, this one over here, good. They're holding pretty well against the Russians, which is good for them. But, uh, other than that... They ain't doing so well. Go and help out. Tanks, can you maybe try a little more harshly? Oh, we cannot afford to lose that much more fuel. Get way more fuel now. Good. 74,000 losses. Not bad. And we've killed off over 700,000 of them. Ukraine. Uh -huh. So the Russians are focusing mostly on the Ukrainians, which makes sense. But everyone else is kind of struggling over here. It's fine. It's fine. Glorify war is always nice. And we can do rehabilitation through blood. So in the situation we are currently in, we need everyone on the front lines. We should tell the convicts of facilities within the Okbal system that they can gain their freedom by enlisting in the penal battalions. I might do the same thing. We'll see what happens. Cool, cool. Keep pushing. We're almost at Warsaw. We actually are basically at Warsaw already. And they don't like that. That's okay. Help push. I know it's over a river. I know it's really bad to attack this way. But they can't keep this up. But we can. With a smile on our face. Don't you see Dr. G? He smiles that we're doing so well. Yeah, go and grab some more there. That'd be nice. 230 factories, still not enough. Throw another one on there in Mecklenburg. Oh, did we have to throw it on there? No. Come on, game. Alright, that didn't want to operate for me, but whatever. A group competing machine, very good. Better radar. And then we'll get some better infantry equipment, which will help us out. Nice, keep finding stuff to sink. Good. This is taking a while. Oof. Germany's definitely not that strong. At least for now. You know, since we have Marines, it's only one division that we have. Make them even huge. Make them massive, thick German Marines. Rota Marina. Marinen. Something like that. Huge divisions. Massive divisions. Throw them on there, too. Throw them on there. Why not? Oh, good. Oh, we're out of guns. That's not good. That's really not good. Holy cow. That's okay. They've lost. We've killed 800,000 of them. Come on. We've taken Warsaw, which is nice. Come on. I'm surprised that they can hold on for this long. Poland must be very strong in this, in this uh, universe. They were, at least. 2%. Not much. Keep attacking. I know it's I know it's a little painful. I know it is. Actually, broke over the river. That's really nice. Immediately go this way if you can. 
Oh, so we got horses. Oh, that's Hungarian horses. We want to go here first, just so that we... Oh, or down here. And surround block. Help out, help out, help out, help out. Get down here. We've encircled the soldiers of block, which is awesome. We're going to encircle soldiers up here, which is another awesome move. Still need more fuel, which is okay. Good. Rehabilitation. We're done on this side of the tree. Very good. Uh, we can do that, but let's wait first. Oh, look at this. Verwirtschaft. Ooh, not bad. Military construction speed. Let's do that one. So, with the current war, we need an economy that can aid our soldiers, or we will fall to the wrath of the imperialists. I'm kind of surprised France is not at war with us yet. Beautiful. Now we've definitely killed quite a few of them off. But not enough. And we encircle these guys, too. Ah, uh, our plan to do well, my friends. To do very well. Even though we're out of guns, motorized, support equipment. We're actually do we're doing well in medium tanks, too. Let's switch this around. Medium tanks. And maintenance companies. That'll be incredibly important to do. And keep doing that for now. Come on, Poland. We need Lviv. I'm glad we haven't gone to war with Prussia yet, which is awesome. Shouldn't take that much longer to break through. Oh, someone got injured, probably. Ah, oh, good. That just helped us in our attacks. Anyone here? Not yet, not yet. How about right there? Go here to here. If we can. Come on, we want to circle three more divisions so they can't do anything about that. Russia's doing very well, pushing into the southern portion of the Ukraine. Actually, they push very far into the Ukraine. Holy cow. Oh. But we push very far into Poland. Before we forget, let's go ahead and do this. So, you have to come to... That one. That's good. So you guys actually have a use. I won't throw any support equipment on there because we don't have any, like, for, you know, military police, but that's okay. Oh, nice, cool. I love green. Wish we had more of it, though. More, 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 more. The poles are quite the challenge. Quite the challenge. Alright, so let's make sure we actually use these guys effectively. You guys come right here and go straight up that way. Cut Poland off from the rest of her allies. That's a goal. Not enough manpower. Oh, we are 2,000. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Oh, he's so happy. He smiles so nice. Now, this emblem here, it doesn't look very happy, but this guy does. Look at his teeth. You can't disagree with someone who's smiling like that, right? This is what we want. That tile, and then move up to there. This is exactly what we want and need. Or we just cut him off from right there. I mean, I just want encirclements. Good, we broke up that way. Oh, wait, at least we did seven divisions right there. That's nice. Good. Hmm, rocket research. research. And we'll do that one. So, uh, De Montaga. Committee. For every machine these brutes destroy, for every tractor that they blew up, we will take two of theirs. Oh, we're actually fighting Bolaris too, so that didn't even really matter too much. Cool. How about we focus on Lithuania, maybe? Actually, who's a major still? Just Poland? Oh, okay. So, I'll just send you guys down here then. That's fine. Good. Uh, let's get some more of this, because we could always use more. Put it right there. Good. It's... I'm going to assume I, sh I probably have to end up going to war with France. Probably me. Maybe we should take out Russia first. What should we do next? Russia or France? Italian National Republic looks amazing. Good job, guys. But then again, I, I have to fight you guys, so I not really amazing, guys. Not really amazing. Oh, come on, how much longer? Just, just get to the vive. Actually, did we take it already? Where's their... They're gone! They're done! Cool, let's, take, let's do this real quick. And where's Russia? Well, Bulgaria's there, too. Uh, Austrian. I don't know how much Bulgaria really did against these guys, though. I don't think that did much. So you are the... Yes. So I'm going to give you all the Ukraine, because that just makes sense. There you go. You know what? You can even have all of Belarus. Oh. Uh... Well, you can have most of it. Nah, yeah, you can have all of it. So I can take the rest of it. Lithuania, thank you. Poland, thank you. Even though maybe I should have made this into a little... Hmm. Hmm. It is what it is. Cool. I think we did very well right there. Now with this, let's set ourselves up for a war maybe with uh, Prussia. Königsberg, good. Make a beeline from here. Straight there. Nice. 
Uh, maybe we'll get into we'll cancel on least an event. Oh, the Hungarians are taking their soldiers away, which is fine. No one cares right now. That's not bad. That's actually looking pretty good. The League Solar is looking a little intimidating. Not gonna lie, it's look a little bit intimidating, which I don't like, but that's okay. Um, but I think we did pretty darn well in this episode. Uh, we haven't gotten to war with the UK. We haven't gotten to war with these guys. But you know what? I hope you enjoyed today's episode regardless. If you did, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow when we go to war with Prussia. And maybe even Russia, France, or the UK. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.